since we're building an electronic form, we'll eventually want to submit the form. Therefore, we'll need a submit button. The submit button submits the form to a defined location on a server or to a location on your local network. To add the submit button, we'll click on the button tool and we will drag and drop a button onto our PDF form. This opens up the button properties. Inside the button properties, we have information about the appearance. And here, the fill color for the button happens to be gray. And there's also a border color. If we set the border color to something like black, it allows us to have a few options in how the button looks. For instance, you could make the form to be beveled or dashed. Beveled actually looks pretty cool. I'll show you what that looks like quick. I'll select the hand tool. You can see it puts a nice bevel around the outside. Let's go back to our selection tool and select that button again. Next, we'll click on options. And here, we'll want to put a label on our button. The label we'll need for submit is submit. Now, if I close that down, we click on the hand tool, you can see that it says submit on the button. Let me go back to our selection tool and open up our options. Now, if we want this form to submit to a location on the web, we're going to have to set an action for this button. An action is something that gets triggered when the button is pressed. When you press a button, the technical term for it is mouse up. So leave the trigger as mouse up, and then we're going to want to select an action. So if I go down here and scroll through my actions, there is an action that's called submit a form. And when I click on that, it allows me to add that action to the button. What's cool about buttons is that you can add multiple actions to a button. But in our example, we're just going to add one action, and that's going to be when somebody clicks or does a mouse up, we want to submit a form. I'll hit the Add button, and when I do, it brings up a box that gives me some options about how the form is going to be submitted. On the left-hand side, it shows me the different output options for the form. Now, I won't get into great detail on this. I'll just tell you for now, submit the form like an HTML form by selecting this option here. By default, all the form fields will be submitted, so you can leave that selected. The only thing that we're missing now is a location on the web for this form to be submitted to. Now, for our example, we'll submit this form to a script that I have running on the form router server. What this script does is it returns to you, back to your browser, all of the name value pairs for all of the fields that you submitted from your form so you can see what's being submitted. Alternatively, I could have selected a script on the form router server so that I could submit this data to a database. But for now, I'll leave it submitting to our script, which is located at formrouter.com forward slash ph forward slash var.php. You can find this in the PDF manual for building online forms. It's a great script that anybody can use if you want to see what your form is submitting for testing purposes. So just to recap, we're submitting the form like an HTML form. We're submitting all of the fields from the form, and we're submitting it to a script on a server that's going to return to us the values that were submitted for testing purposes. Let me hit OK. Then I will close this box and I'll hit save. Now, if we want to test the form, we can do it at this time. Let's give it a shot. Now, to save a little time, I've jumped forward here a little bit, and I've actually filled out our form. And you can see I typed in my name, and I typed in some comments, selected North Carolina, checked a few checkboxes, and I will hit the Submit button. When I hit the Submit button, it's going to submit the form to a script up on the formatter server, which will return to me all of the posts that hit our server. And what you will see in here are the fields from our form. 
For instance, in comments, I had typed in this as a field. I had selected event one and event three. Here's my hidden field data that came through for my event name. Of course, first name, last name. It asked me if I was happy. I said yes. Uh, down here, I have my state as North Carolina. And for my toys, I've got the boat data that came through. Now down here, this button 13, what that is, that's actually the submit button. So uh, even buttons that get submitted have names and value pairs that can be associated with them. This button did not have a value pair. So all we got was the name of the field submitted through.